everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Today I'm making five ridiculously easy Dollar Tree Coastal DIYs. And when I say easy, I mean it. All of these DIYs will take you anywhere from five to at the most 20 minutes to create. So if you're new to my channel and like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Let's get started. For this DIY, I just went to Dollar Tree and picked up four of these 8x10 white frames. And then I went onto my computer and I printed off four pictures of these sea life creatures. And I got these off of Canva.com. They have a lot of free artwork. This video isn't sponsored by them. I just use them for a lot of free stuff to print things off. So I wanted to quickly show you how easy it was to get on and print it off your Yourself. You just go to canva.com and then you select whatever type of thing you are working on. I picked a flyer and then I just went to elements and typed in the search bar ocean and it pulled up a ton of different ocean um, pictures that I could use and most of them were free. So I picked one that I liked. I resized it. You can even change the color so that way it matches your decor. And then when you are ready to print it off, you just go up to the little print flyer and click the drop down and change it to a JPEG and then click download. Once it's downloaded to your computer, all you have to do is open it up and click print. And that's what I did with all four of these pictures. Once I got all of those printed out, I just took the backings off of the frames and I used a little insert in each one of the frames to just trace over the picture that I printed out. So that way it would be the same size and I wouldn't have a bunch of excess paper sticking out of the back of the frame. Um, so I just traced it with a pencil and then cut it out with some scissors. And then I just placed the picture back in the frame with the backing. And that was all there was to it. It's super easy and affordable. DIY, I'm going to be using one of these wooden arrow signs from Dollar Tree and I was going to use it in a previous project so that's why it's already painted. Um, so I just left it this color. It is uh, spray painted with this Rust-Oleum chalked spray paint in the color Serenity Blue and I think it looks pretty coastal with that color. And then I just took some of these white rocks from Dollar Tree and I spelled out the word beach onto the arrow. I just laid everything out the way I liked it and to make sure that it all fit first before I glued everything down. Once I got it all laid out, I just went back with some hot glue to secure the rocks down. And that was it. This one was super simple. It took about five minutes to make, but it makes for some really cute beach decor. The next super simple DIY is going to be a candle tray using one of these little wooden trays from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to paint it with some white chalk paint. I did one coat and it dried really quick with just one coat and chalk paint dries really quick anyways. So that was easy and then I just took two equal pieces of nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I hot glued the ends of those pieces through the handle holes. Um, to the inside of the tray just to make this look a little more coastal by adding the nautical rope. Then I used these little aqua pebbles from Dollar Tree and spread those on the bottom of the tray. And then I placed my candles inside the tray. I would definitely advise using LED candles and not real candles because it's a little dangerous to use real candles around all of this and it's really open. Um, but that was it. I love how it turned out. For this next easy DIY, I took two of these round wooden tags from Dollar Tree and I just spray painted the tops of them with the Serenity Blue chalked paint, the same paint I used on the wooden arrow. 
um, and it dried really quickly especially since it was hot outside and it was only the top I just did a light coat and that was enough to cover the design that was already on there then I took one of these crafters square stencil wheels this one had some seashells and a starfish and a sand dollar on it so I thought that was perfect for some coastal decor and I just chose these uh, little starfish for this one and I took my stencil brush that came from Dollar Tree with just a little bit of paint on it just just enough to stencil the uh, starfish and the seashell on to that little wooden tag and then it dried really quickly that way um, and then once it was dry I just took my piece of sandpaper and just went around the edges of each uh, tag so that way I could expose a little bit of the white and make it look a little more weathered just the way I like it then I came back with some twine and strung that through each one of the tags and tied that at the top and cut the excess twine off. And then with the um, twine, I just strung that with some of these wooden beads. These came from Amazon. I like these wooden beads because you get like a large quantity for a really good price and they are just plain wooden beads so they're easier to paint you don't have to paint over all of the different crazy colors like Dollar Tree um, ones are so I'll leave a link to those down below in the description box um, I think they are just a good deal if you are using wooden beads so the first thing I did was I strung them with 20 beads on the twine and I was just gonna leave it that way and I thought about adding a tassel but then I decided to make more of a hanger out of them so I took six of the beads off and ended up just stringing them with 14 beads and then pushing the end of the twine through that hole and tying it off to make a little hanger out of it so that way you could just hang it on a um, vase or a bottle whatever you would like and that was it to this I think they turned out so pretty Last but not least, I made a cute coastal wreath with one of these light colored willow wreaths from Dollar Tree. I did go ahead and take some white matte spray paint and just lightly spray paint over the top of the wreath just to give it like a white wash look. Um, so that way it would just look more coastal and then I took some nautical rope and I hot glued the end of the nautical rope to the back of the wreath and then I wrapped some of the nautical rope just around the wreath kind of just sporadically I didn't have like a pattern and then I hot glued that uh, end to the back of the wreath and I wanted this wreath to kind of look like it fell to the bottom of the ocean and got caught up with just some seashells and some nautical rope I wish I had some fishing net to use on this because I think that would have made it really cute too sometimes Dollar Tree has that but I haven't seen it this year but if you have it I think that would be really cute to add to this wreath I just added some seashells that actually I had from my husband's saltwater fish tank um, but Dollar Tree sells seashells as well or if you live near the ocean maybe you can use some that you have collected um, in the past to glue to your wreath. Uh, I just glued the seashells randomly around the wreath so that way it didn't look perfect. It just kind of like I said looked like it fell to the bottom of the ocean and got caught up in all of the ocean things that are there. The last thing I did to this wreath is take another piece of nautical rope and I just put it around the top of the wreath to use as a hanger and then I tie the two pieces together in a knot and cut the excess rope and that was it for this cute coastal wreath guys so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to follow me over on Facebook where I do upload videos over there and also Instagram to see more behind the scenes and day-to-day -day. and I'll see you guys next time take care bye bye